Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day filled with only positive vibes. Today, we got a great one for you guys. For those who don't know, last season, there was this thing called the Soldier Return. Basically, if you didn't log in for 14 days, you would have access to a bunch of free skin, including either the Jade M4 or the AK-47, as well as potentially the Nomad skin. And you also had the opportunity to get the I think it was a rune skin. It was a really good one as well as some of the cool operators and stuff you can get. So this season, there's probably going to be a new one. So we're actually going to give you guys our live reaction to that as we're doing it from the stream. So if you haven't yet, join me live on stream, trouble.live slash the hitman. And I'm going to give you guys the rest of that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. And if you did, I'll see you guys at the end. So typically speaking, in the beginning of the season, there's always a new welcome back soldier. So that's how you get free skins. Typically, I will usually have around one or two accounts that you can kind of keep back and get these free accounts. So like my free to play account is going to be one of those accounts. And this is my shotgun account. So on my shotgun account, it's not going to be as advantageous, but I wanted to show you guys a welcome back soldier part here. And then potentially we'll go back onto our uh, free to play account. You guys see the first thing you get from just logging back in after 14 days is a credit, the XP card, the extra battle pass and the Ashen Viper. Okay. But it is nice and clean. I like it. Now this is the best part. You can actually log in for eight days straight and get a few different stuff from last season. The main thing is bury the hatchet. You get that. Uh, I believe we've gone this before. All these cool skins. You get an RUS, which is nice. And you get the AK color burst. So already cool to get that. We'll just claim the first one here. Now some cool other stuff. The training one. So typically speaking, you get to pick one of these three. So you can either get the Type 25 Cyberspace. You can get the Vanguard or you can get the PDW hotspot. Before you actually do any of this, make sure to go to your loadouts, okay? And check what you already have, all right? So go to loadouts. Yeah, it's gonna be the first season that I've done this. This is my shotgun account. I actually haven't played on it yet. We'll probably grind this a little bit later. And check what skins you have. Don't accidentally pick one of the skins you already have. So you check your type 25. I probably don't even have a type 25 skin on this. So not even gonna bother even trying doing that. You guys will see like gunsmith, check your type 25. You don't have a type 25. So you can get the Type 25 for free, anything like that. So we're just gonna go check that back. I also don't, I don't have the Vanguard skin, so I can actually check that out. If I don't have the Vanguard skin, we're just gonna go for the Gangvar skin. Vanguard skin, the Vanguard skin was from logging in. So it doesn't look like I have the Vanguard skin, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna personally go for the Vanguard skin. Now, this is a cool thing about this. Once you pick that, you'll actually see I probably don't recommend the PW, but the Type 25 is what I would recommend since it's actually a really good one. So you can get the free Cyberspace or a Vanguard skin, but on my shotgun account, it's a shotgun account. So I'm not even gonna bother using it, but on my free to play account, you can actually get the Vanguard, uh, not the Vanguard, the Type 25 Cyberspace, which is pretty good because Type 25 is actually pretty solid this season. And not only that, you'll see all the cool other stuff you can get. So another cool thing, as you progress and finish all these stuff, you get the Pharaoh Bandit, you get the Locust, Right, you get a backpack, whatever you get, Ash and Viper, and you get another free skin. You get the Nomad Wow skin. So last season, what you actually got to have for free was the Ruin skin, which was pretty solid. Nomad Wow Snake, you can't really complain, and you get a, another one of those banners. Also, very cool things. You get the MP5 if you just play any game mode and stuff like that, and then the other stuff will unlock. So you will get a Chopper for free. You get Annihilator for free. You get the Shock RC for free, and you get the DRH plus the um, Trickster. So pretty good. You get a few XP cards, which is whatever, but you get a lot of cool guns if you haven't unlocked them yet. You get a temporary item for now until you unlock this every single day, but whatever, it's cool. You can also get some more XP cards, like battle pass things. I believe this is um, the battle pass thing. But the new content, play shipment, get some credits, play battle royale, get some credits, new free weapons as well. So those are honestly the free stuff you get. Pretty, pretty far, not gonna lie. Do I like last season better? A little bit, but I honestly think everything you can use here, everything you get every single day is very usable. So first thing you get here is the QQ9, very usable. You can literally get it right off the bat. Just play one one match in any rank mode or any mode. Then you get a chopper, very solid. And then you get an annihilator, very solid. You get this, usually this is gonna be the BR one, but getting DR8, so you don't even have to be high level to get it because you can unlock those I think you can unlock those by leveling up. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong, but you don't even have to get all the way up to that level to unlock it. You'll naturally unlock it, which is pretty, pretty insane in my opinion. I wish actually they would have given all these XP cards. Why can't I have all those XP cards for leveling up? That would have been sick to get them from being level 150, but whatever, I digress. Now, also with all the credits you get, you can potentially actually 
buy some cool ooh, Arctic hotspot. That's actually new. I haven't seen that. You can get RUS if you would like to. So you can pick up some of these skins as well. So yeah, you can actually get the Type 25. You can actually buy it if you would like, but you can get it for free. So a lot of things you can decide on whether or not you want to get, but you can get the color burst. You do still get the color burst. You would have to wait eight days. So after eight days, you'll get the AK-117 AK color burst. But you get a lot of cool stuff just for free, just from not having your account log in for 14 days. It's going to be the same thing as last season. So pretty, pretty cool. And actually, since we're already here, let's just, we'll do a few draws since I have 700. Let's just do like one or two. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to the other account. Oh, legendary on the first poll. Whoa, mind blown. Oh my God, bro. That's pretty sick. Yo, I, I take that W. I'll just do one more poll and then we'll call it. Imagine get the legendary last one. I got a pistol. That's that's not bad. Most worth it is AK. Yeah, the AK is pretty good. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like share and subscribe, let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys think it's worth to wait 14 days? Honestly, I've always done this every season. I would use it on my free to play account. Usually on the free to play account, there's not much stuff to grind at the end of the season. So you can usually wait on the 14 days. Actually, I think the account we used was a shotgun account. So pretty solid in my opinion, some good stuff that season compared to the last season. So pretty nice. All right, I'm out to you guys next time. Kill it.